Hi there, hi there. With so many new rulings and changes in our property market, are you still able to afford to own a property on your own? Let's find out now. Before I begin, I hope you can help me by clicking the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. So this will motivate me to create more edutainment videos to share my knowledge with you. I will talk about three big changes here. Changes number one, with the all-time high interest rates, our banks have upgraded the floor rate interest from 3.5% to 4.5% to calculate your loan eligibility when you want to apply for a new mortgage loan. Let me show you the example below. In early 2022 or before, if you are age 35 or younger with an income of $8,500, you can afford to get a unit around $1.5 million purchase price. Yeah? Based on the current formula, to get the same 1.5 million price unit at age 30, your new income has got to be $10,000 in order to do so. That's 18% increase needed in salary. Changes number two, property prices. The earlier part of year 2022 or before, you will still be able to get a three bedrooms condo unit signs between 900 to 1,100 square feet for about $1.5 million, right? In today's context, the same budget of 1.5 million can only get you a two bedrooms unit with the signs ranging from 600 to 750 square feet. You see the difference? Price don't change, but signs change. In other words, the per square foot price increase. Changes number three, buyer stamp duty. The latest announcement that shocked the world. Okay, okay, I am exaggerating. It is just a bit of tingling sensation, not to the shocking level yet. What is it about? It is the increase of buyer stamp duty with different tiers on the pricing. 1 to 1.5 million dollars is 4% buyer stamp duty. 1.5 to 3 million dollars is 5% buyer stamp duty. 3 million dollars onwards is 6% buyer stamp duties. That sounds like you have to pay a lot for the buyer stamp duty, right? Let me use a more common average price of $2 million to show you the difference you have to pay between the old and the new rate with the 1% increase. While you may think it is $20,000 you have to pay for the extra 1%, it's actually not. The old rates of 4% buyer stamp duty for $2 million property is $64,600 and the new buyer stamp duty will cost $69,600. So that is literally only $5,000 more and not $20,000 extra. So don't scare yourself, yeah? For a $1.6 million property, the new buyer stamp duty will only cost an extra of $1,000. So all is still good and manageable. With that all being said the above, will you still be able to afford the property purchase? Not entirely sure about your eligibility, Drop me a comment or click on the link in this video to WhatsApp me direct to find out your max loan amount, purchase price that works for you and etc. Thanks for watching this video to the end and I look forward to hear from you soon.